Look at the mask of my boy. What did they do to my boy? Ah, <sighs> they did nothing to your boy. <laughs> so this video. It's gonna be a short one, but I really want to say some things about Attack of Titan ending, about why Phantom Black Pill is so wrong and why the Black Pill um, YouTubers don't know how to criticize um, movies or anime or TV shows. Number one, I have to say, why everybody like complaining about main characters crying? Like, are, are people not supposed to cry like like for real like he literally killed half of his friends and literally made them go through hell and he and he and he can't cry like he was always like this like not like Deku like some people think oh he cries a lot number one he's a fucking kid bro mm -hmm. and number two everybody keep pulling him down every day of his life and number three, yeah, he don't cry a lot. The most things he cry about is um is comet relief. And if you think that is any argument that he cries a lot seriously, that's fucking dumb. Like Deku literally's the main character and he have to suffer a lot, like I don't fucking get it, but what I want to talk about is Phantom Black Pill. Now, what Phantom Black Pill said is that, um... What I just watched, man. <laughs> what they turned him into, alright? I remember I was looking at the edits. The edits were looking good. You got Levi going one-on-one -on -one with, the, with the jaw titan, whatever it is. He's fighting him. He's winning somehow, he can't even see. His arm doesn't work and he's fighting. I don't know how he's fighting. Anyway, I thought it was going to be good. I was looking forward to it, man. I sat down there, I started watching it. It started off a bit slow, but it was all right. Actually, it started off pretty quick, but then it slowed down a bit. But that's fine. That's, that's pacing. That's what I expect. But what happened to Eren? What did they do to Eren, man? The whole reason why I liked Eren as a character was because of his conviction, not because of his ideology, right? I didn't care too much why he was doing what he was doing, because it wasn't explicit. He's free to do it. That's not a reason. That's just saying, it's like saying, it's like if I was to say, um, why did you climb over the fence? Oh, because I could. Like, that's not a reason for doing it. That's just you saying you have the ability to do it, not that you have any reasoning behind it, right? That's kind of, I was like, okay then, so that's not a real reason, that's fine. The reason why I liked Eren was because of his conviction, his passion, his drive. He <clears throat> he left his whole family, every everybody that he knew, everything that he knew, he went into a war fighting against, I believe, either his own people or with people who hated his people and wanted to exterminate them, he cut out his own eye, he cut off his own arm, and then he lived for, I think, three years, pretending to be a um, mentally insane war veteran, and then he manipulated some kid, and then he started a war with another country, killed loads of innocent people, and then he went on to start, and then he went on to um, make all of his friends hate him, and then, after all of this, he went on to kill 80% of the population. Okay. <coughs> I don't care about the why, I don't care about the morality of it, I care about the conviction. He did all of this for his aim, all of this for his goal, near enough on his own, right? That takes extreme conviction and extreme passion, the The drive is what I respected, right? Not the idea, it was the drive behind what he was doing, that was, that was what was respectable for me. And now seeing me sitting there in, in, in the, in the, what is it, in the blood, Crying about Mikasa, forgetting about him. First of all, that's not even logically going to happen. He, he destroyed 80% of the world population. And the main leading power in Mikasa and his home country is now named after him. Like, she's not going to forget about him. Even if she wanted to. Everywhere she looks, it's going to be Eren Jaeger, blah, blah, blah. Eren Jaeger, and the Jaegerist, blah, blah, blah. You know? It's not even possible for her to forget about him. Right? And then he loses all his conviction. Instead of giving a solid reason why he did it, instead of 
having conviction, having drive, he just breaks down and starts saying, oh, I did all this because I was an idiot. I don't really even care too much about the Mikasa breaking down scene. I care about the reasoning behind why he did it. He said he did it because he was an idiot, a stupid, whatever he called himself. Like, come on, there are so many good reasons that he could have as to why he could do it. Like, I could even spit off some which are objectively better than what Isayama wrote down. Easily, right? Here's one. So, this is what he could say. Um, I was the freest person in the world. However, I believe that it is right for... Uh, however, I believed that I was made so that if anybody tried to take freedom away from me, I would take it away from them first. However, you have taken freedom away from me, the freest person in the world. Therefore, now you, my friends, are the freest people in the world. Or something like that, you know? Like, link it back to his friends. Link it back to helping them live happy and prosperous lives. And that Number one, Eva Yeager is um, emotional. So, he is crying about Mikasa because Heo Yeager ruined her, well, destroy everything from her life and also like 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 wait what i mean having drive i think this is like a personal um opinion not like a real like problem with the story like his drive is like it was pointless in the first place it's like getting the banana like trying to get a banana killing everyone in the building just to get that banana but you realize you got one pound in your pocket so you didn't really need to kill anyone to get that banana you know what i mean it's the it's the same thing same like it's like it's like you know it's going to happen to you anyway you're gonna die or or you're gonna die anyway so pretty much that is it like and by the way Avery Yeager is like he was emotional of what happened to the people behind the walls and I don't know man but this is a bad video bad elf and the black pit for nothing in hindsight but that is the point, that hate is impossible to fix when this is all you know. No, no, let's do the video essay thing and say it's Scream even. Yeah, yeah, that sound cool and deep. Attack on Titan, scream at us. That what Eren did won't last, that it cannot last because peace brought by hate is not real peace. It shouldn't be. There is one moment where Eren break character, where in all the post time skip he hold back on his true feeling. There is a scene where he say he don't want to die. A lot of people clown on Eren for this one moment of honesty in front of his friend, because it make him an incel or, or a cock I guess. But Eren knows he need to die. He is not whining because he cannot save himself. He probably could easily too. He was sad because he knew he would become someone not worth saving. No, that's not right. Because he knew that if he had it in him to commit a genocide, he knew he was never worth saving at all. Because he is the fruit of multiple lifetime of hate. Because he realized that he was when it counted the most a bad person. Agree, disagree, think he was born evil, at least be real with me. It's entertaining and really sad that the world can produce someone whose view of the world is so clouded by hate that to bring peace he needed to become a mass murderer, someone who deserved death. So yeah, Aaron is a bad guy, like, no shit, you figured it out, well played, good job. Eren is a subversion of her classic old hero. He fight against monster to avenge his mom, to save the world to be free. The twist is that, like in real life, the monster of Attack on Titan are human just like us. And if you hate long enough, the line between you and the monster start to blur. It's not fucking Falcon and the Winter Soldier that tell you to do better. I mean, I mean. He did delete my comment by in the community tab when I was saying, Ooh, I really like that. Hey, that ogre's sexy. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me, Fanta Black Pill. But, um, yeah, L video. Can't wait for another video coming out. Um, I'm not going to talk about this guy anymore because I mostly like his content. And, um, 
also i'm gonna make a video about um gatekeeping in anime and in gaming and why sometimes we do need to gatekeep a lot of stuff in media that's how some people just like fucking ruin it like what vanta black people done about why the tackle titan um anime ending was shit because he cried before like killing all of his people then I don't know by the way read the manga that he literally have to change it so damn you do damn you don't like he this guy creator was getting harassed I'm not saying that you're harassing him but other people were harassing him for some stupid shit but I want to end it there take care guys see you guys later I'm gonna make more videos along the way and Phantom Black Pill your Vanta mm, not that don't never review that ever again just stick to you. just just stick to your song please <laughs>